been affected. Two people have lost their lives in the second wave of floods in the Indian state of Assam in the last 24 hours. This brings the total death toll to 24 in the state due to the flooding. Official sources have stated that altogether 25 districts are reeling under the flood situation, thereby affecting nearly 1 million people. Among them, over 27,000 are taking shelter in 273 relief camps in 12 districts. Central forces have been deployed across Assam for the rescue operations and to ensure that COVID-19 measures are being followed in the relief camps. The Brahmaputra River and its several tributaries are flowing above the danger mark at many places. Most rivers in the state, except those in the Barak Valley, have witnessed a rise in the water levels. There are 18 hills within Guwahati and its outskirts. Many houses constructed on the slopes reportedly do not conform to the building guidelines. Incidents of flood-triggered erosion have also been reported from the Biswanath district. More than 5,000 persons have been shifted to 37 uh, relief, uh, flood relief camps in uh, Dibrugar district following widespread flooding by the Brahmaputra and other swollen rivulets. In all, 182 villages of the district have been affected by the floods. The Union Home Minister, Hamid Shah, spoke with the Sam's Chief Minister, Sarbananda Sonawal, on Monday to take stock of the situation. Amit Shah has assured all possible help to Assam in tackling the crisis. Flooding also affected two national parks in the state. In Kaziranga, 146 of the total 203 camps used by the forest personnel have been affected and nine of them have been vacated. Nearly 60% area of the Kaziranga National Park, nearly 60% spread over a large area has been inundated by the flooding. The Bura Pahar and Bagori ranges of the park are the worst hit with over a million animals who have been affected. In Orang, 22 of the total 40 camps are affected due to the floods.